SketchFX is a rendering extension for SketchUp that allows you to create artistic images from your SketchUp models by applying multiple visual effects. In this video, we're going to walk through the basics of the user interface to get new users familiarized with the way the software works. When you first install the extension, there will be a menu that shows up in the drop-down extensions menu, as well as a toolbar. If you can't see the toolbar, you may have to enable it by right-clicking in your toolbar area and selecting SketchFX, or by visiting View, Toolbars, and making sure the box for SketchFX is selected. The drop-down menu includes the main Apply Effect option, as well as containing links to the product documentation, the help forums, and the link to purchase the extension or activate your copy of the software if you've purchased a license. To start applying effects to your model, simply click on the Apply Effect button in your SketchFX toolbar. Once you click the Apply Effect button, this will launch the SketchFX window, which is where you'll do all of your effect editing. This window contains a toolbar at the top of the page, the effects list area, where the effects you create will show up, and a section at the bottom allowing you to adjust the auto-update settings in your model. Let's talk a bit about the various tools at the top of the page that can be used to manage the settings of SketchFX. These include the following. Create a new project. Create a brand new effects list for your project. Open a saved project. Open an effects file that you've created in the past. Save current project. Save your current effects for later use. Save SketchUp viewport as image file. This is used for creating images from your SketchFX styles. Set resolution. This allows you to set the resolution of the images you're creating. Render animation, EX version only. This is an EX version option that will allow you to create animation files. Add a new effect and remove selected layers. This is used to add and remove effects from your model. Move layer up and down. We'll discuss this more in a moment, but these are used to control the stacking of styles. Update viewport. This is used to reapply the effects to your model. Generally, this is used when auto update is turned off. Open documentation. This will open SketchFX's documentation page. If you have a question about how a certain effect works, the documentation is a great place to start. Now, let's talk about the effects section. This section is where all of your active effects in your model will show up. In addition, SketchFX contains a number of pre-built effects that you can apply to your model. These are a great place to get started understanding the capabilities of the extension. Finally, at the bottom of the page, there is a section where you can adjust the auto-update settings of your model. By checking the box, SketchFX will re-render your image automatically whenever you adjust your view or your effects settings, allowing a live update of your model. For slower computers, you can also turn this off so you don't need to re-render until really necessary. The box for purge styles affects whether or not any additional styles added to your model's style library should be purged every time effects are applied. This can also be turned on or off depending on the speed of your computer. Now, let's talk about adding effects to your model. The way SketchFX works is by adding a series of visual effects layer by layer in a bottom-down order. You can achieve different results depending on the order of the effects that are applied. There are three different kinds of effects you can apply. Images. These are the actual image files that are being used in your model. Overlays, SketchUp styles, actual images, and even colors are considered images. Filters. These are applied to your images to alter the way that they look. These can be applied both to every above image effect or to a specific image as a child. We'll discuss parent-child relationships in a future video. Masks. Masks are used to hide or show different parts of an image. They can only be applied as a child of an image file, so they're applied to a specific image file. Let's look at an example of the way the effects manager works. To add an image, filter, or mask, simply click the plus button at the top of the page. This will give you a list of items that you can add to your model. Let's start by adding a style to our model. 
These styles correspond with the styles in your SketchUp model's style manager in SketchUp's tray. So you can adjust and create new styles in your model, which will then show up in the drop-down list of style types. In this case, let's add a pencil style to our model. Start by clicking the plus button, then select style. Then in the default style section, click the drop-down and select pencil sketch with darker traced lines. As you can see, if you have auto update checked, SketchFX applies this style to your model. If you don't, click the update button so that SketchFX applies this style to your model. You can adjust the opacity of the styles you apply by entering a value in the opacity section below. Let's adjust our opacity to one. You can see how when we do this, the materials from our base model don't show through anymore. Now, let's add a mask to this style. Click on your style, then click the plus button and select radial mask. As you can see, SketchFX applies a radial mask to your style so that it doesn't get applied to the radius at the center of the page. In this way, you can create all of your different artistic styles in SketchFX. In the next video, we can get more in-depth on the way the effects list manager works. Thank you for taking the time to watch this SketchFX tutorial.